Friday. We'll take a look, see if the stream is looking good. I think it is live, so I'm going to go ahead and do the introduction. Fellow trainers, hello. Welcome to Pokemon TCG Daily. I hope you're having a fantastic day wherever you are. Pokemon is back up and running today. Uh, at the time, of course, I wanted to do it yesterday. We did some booster pack openings during yesterday's little short little live stream, but this time I'm going to be on a bit longer. I don't know if anyone's around uh, right now, but this will give me a chance whether anyone wants to watch this later after I upload the regular booster pack. Um, I'm just going to kind of break through and go through the deck that I'm going to be bringing to regionals. It's not actually a whole lot different last time but let's go ahead and start with a match first uh we'll go ahead and do a, a couple matches see if anyone's even online this morning whether or not you check this out right now or check it out sometime later in the day thank you so much for coming by and uh, stopping by to watch this video i'm gonna take a little listen and see how it's sounding on the other end of things i have a monitor off here on the side just to make sure that it's sounding good on everyone else's end that sounds pretty good happy with that Okay, so let's go ahead and break down what I'm bringing with regionals. It's nothing too original as terms of cards that are like popular in the meta. We'll go ahead and see what my starting hand is here right now. Uh, not a bad starting hand. Uh, definitely, uh, definitely, Execute is not the person I want to send out uh, to start things with. I, I could send out someone else, but... Uh, well, I could Tapu Lele, but I think I think I'm honestly gonna send out Execute. Hopefully, hope for the best that he doesn't get knocked out. I could go for another Tapu Lele, but I don't really like having to having to use both my Tapu Lele. It's just like right off the bat. So, what is this deck? This deck is a Zork deck. Call along Zork. It's not Zork Control. Those of you, there's probably people who know what Zork Control is. Um, my Zork deck is just a much more pure offensive Zork deck. Actually, this list this is actually important. Whenever you get those turn one Mulligans a chance to take so they're doing some kind of steel type deck uh it's really important uh, a really good time to always take a look at things like that um so yeah this is a deck i'm bringing three people are on here it says three people are watching thank you so much for coming by whoever you are feel free uh to let me know if the stream is sounding good and stuff um yeah we're starting out with just a couple matches breaking down my deck a little bit and i am ready to also maybe open up a couple booster packs here towards the end if we feel if we feel like it um yeah, so this will be the first first time I get a peek in my deck a little bit. Uh, what I did differently with the, what I'm doing differently with this list than last time. Last time I brought this a uh, similar deck to regionals. I had a lot of like one trick like ponies you could say uh, so to say in there. A lot of just random one text, but this time around I've just made it a lot more offensive. Um, and really the only card that I've added in here, actually two cards now from Lost Sender are the Giratina, Giratinas and the Ditto Prism Star. Those are the only only guys that I really have added in there from Lost Thunder. Um, um, it's like it's it's like with any any deck deck list I heard uh, I don't remember what channel I was watching the other day that said this when, when you're making a deck um, a deck like this there's always like there's anywhere from like five to ten more cards I wish I could add in here but you know you can only have 60 cards um, so then you just got to kind of uh, take make and break what you want to use um, that's actually pretty pretty good I don't think I want to put anything else I could put a call res in there um, yeah I think I don't think I need another Giratina I honestly don't know uh, still getting used when I am do 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 when I do live streams. Uh, uh, look at the comments. Pokemon Square. Hello. Ha uh, happy Happy Wednesday. Uh, thank you for dropping by. You are so consistent in responding to my videos. I gotta come check out your channel more often. Um, let's go ahead. Yeah, we'll throw those guys in there. That's a good choice. Thin out the deck a little bit. Um, I think this is still my starting turn. Um, pretty good. Uh, I think. Yeah. I think so. I don't think they did anything else. I have to evolve, so it doesn't really matter anyways. Uh, yeah, hello. Welcome. Uh, I think there's. it says a couple other people are watching, so that's really cool, too. Um, uh, we're just showing. Uh, I'm just showing off uh, my deck a little bit, something I'm planning to bring with me to regionals this weekend. Um, do I think it's the best deck in the world, by all means? No, there's 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 plenty of variations of that, this deck. And honestly, if I wanted to have been ready for regionals this weekend, I honestly didn't know what I was running until, like, three days ago i was trying i've experimented with a bunch of different things blade gx which means i have to take seven oh, oh no they get to take a price card i heard i thought it was the one where it added a price card in my account um so they get they get that early that early prize card and they also take how much is it oh, i have to do math during the live stream i know this delamize steel type pokemon do 10 more damage okay so it's not 10 more resistance that's good skyfield's here already so we got a couple things that can make this good i think i am gonna play um I don't need to play that Sycamore yet. Let's go ahead. We got a couple really cool pieces. This has happened a couple times where I've had a discard dowsing machine really early on. Um, kind of one change I made to this list was I know what I could do. I can make I can make use of that dowsing machine. Um, I have to discard two cards. Let's discard Sycamore 
And uh, I don't want to discard the Zork so early, but I think I'm going... I, I think I know what I'm going to do. Let's try this. Set. I'm still kind of getting used to like keeping my uh, thoughts all squared away during uh, during matches, doing live streams and stuff. Uh, but this actually really helps me just because it kind of it kind of creates more of the realistic sense when you're at an in-person event. Um, I think Macargo could be the way to go though too. Uh, let's go ahead. Yeah, because then I could smooth over so I can grab one more thing. I've got the choice span already. It'd be pretty tough to get a knockout, but I can go ahead and grab Zork via this way. Well, that's kind of cool. A um, couple things I could have done there. I don't know if this is the most logical way. Oh, I could actually grab a prize card too. Yeah, oh, that'd be kind of that kind of be spicy a little bit. Um, if I went for this Zork, I could. Uh, I still have to. I still have to get a float zone too, so I shouldn't get too ahead of myself in order to pull all of this off. Um, we'll go ahead and grab a Zork. That's a good. That's a safe. That's a safe way to go. Um, <laughs> yep. So Sycamore drawn to it. So most people with this list, they run, uh, they run typically run four Cynthia's and not a bad option either. I've been experimenting just going like, uh, like I've been saying, uh, just for the straight offensive. I've, I've liked that a lot more the past couple days, just, uh, using Sycamore and just digging in my deck. Um, cause it also does a really good job at thinning out things. I just don't, don't need as well. Um, there's times that, like I said, I had to discard Dowsing Machine a little earlier, so that kind of sucks a little bit. Um, but it's not the end. It's not the end to be all end, though, by all means. Ah, uh, uh, it's not bad either. I had to have those things there. I hate to discard. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and dig one more time in there. We'll use my last trade. Um, worst come to worst, uh, I get I get to keep using Enhance Hammer this turn. Um, so that's always a good thing. So it'd be pretty tough for them to knock out without having anything else there. So we'll go ahead use Enhance Hammer. And turn it over to them. I gotta pay a little more attention to my live stream. I still want to make sure all that's sounding good, good and stuff. Um, let's see. Actually, I think I'm gonna turn the music up a little bit. Oh, oops, opponent already started. Uh, smooth over. <laughs> like I said, with time, I'll perfect during doing my streams. Um, but honestly, it's just been a lot of fun. Like, um, it really does, uh, doing live streams and doing in this context just really creates more, like, the real feeling of doing a, a Pokemon battle, kind of, kind of in person, really. Um, because you just don't have a lot of time, really, when you're playing against someone. Um, oh, th thanks, Pokemon Square. You don't really have a lot of time to actually, like, think about things. Uh, this weekend, when I go play my matches, um, I think I can get the knockout. I think the choice ban here, so he's gonna take 30 less damage. It's 30, right? So, 182, I think. I think that's a knockout if I have choice ban, everything there. Pretty sure, at least. Let's go ahead. I'm gonna need, I'm gonna need every single Giratina. Um, so Giratina, what this has done a great job of doing... Um, so he gets his ability, um, fantastic card. I don't know why I didn't think about using him sooner in this deck uh, when Lost Thunder first hit. You get to put one damage counter onto your Pokemon, opponent's Pokemon. Um, obviously, he only has one out there right now, so I'm only putting one out there. But what Giratina does, especially when I play against decks that I have like either resistance or just some of those really big HP people, a, uh, like uh, Gardevoir GX, even Sylveon GX, I can't knock. I can't actually knock out with uh, Zork. Um, they actually it slowly chips it makes it possible to slowly chip away uh, some of those big numbers 20 40 60 I'm gonna do one trade I don't know if I want to trade this Zork. I'm going to 20 40 60 80 100 120 140 160 190 190 right now I, I think I need one more Pokemon out there still uh, yeah I do I d definitely do we'll go ahead and throw out this Tapu Lele not the most ideal choice but it works um, so that's what the Giratina, what Giratina has done a really good job at. Um, if I can start chipping away even while, while they're in their basic form, um, kind of the example there would be, uh, I guess, uh, Gardevoir GX has 230. Um, if I can start put while it's in the, it's, uh, while it's on the bench, it makes it possible to actually hit it out, uh, uh knock it out more consecutively at least. Um, yeah, Ace of Roll is a good choice. Let's go ahead and I think, I think I did everything right. Also, I've started throwing in some energy, some just basic psychic energy. The one other guy I added in here, I don't know why I didn't add him in uh, sooner. Garborder, uh, great, just uh, 
normal Pokemon. I mean, he's a stage one, but he's not a GX or EX or anything. Just a great stage one Pokemon. Um, he's really come in clutch. Uh, many times I've been testing. Like I said, other other things I've been doing before this, I had a lot of like one trick things. Like I had one Seismitoad, I had uh, I had Pseudowoodo, I had Mewtwo EX and stuff in here. Um, but I decided to just kind of remove a lot of those things and just play into the strengths of what this deck does really, really well. At least the version that I've made of this. The, the popular version of this still is definitely Zor, uh, Zor of Control, um, where you just have a lot of things like a lot of Seismitoads. And even in this, what they play right here, uh, they discard Skyfield? Select like the Pokemon discard? Oh, Pseudowoodo. Like I said, even in this circumstance where they just played Pseudowoodo, I honestly don't mind this. Um, because the th the four things I just discarded just don't matter. Because <laughs> I can get them I can get them back, basically, um, if I play my cards right. So next turn, I have Guzma in my hand already. Um, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, to uh, scoop up that Pseudowoodo, knock him out. Um, yeah, I was using that Pseudowoodo for a while, too. I kind of want to still tech one in because it's still really practical if you're playing if i'm playing against this deck so if i can find space for it i still think it probably would be a good idea to do that i'm not going to spend too much time on this turn let's go ahead and uh keep things going here let's see scyther he turns into scissor gx and i don't remember what he does off the top of my hand um i can do two more trades while matting um what else um almost the one year mark for the channel but pretty cool, pretty cool big um, big milestone. I've almost uploaded one video every single day. I honestly can't believe uh, it's now like almost the one year one year mark. Um, I think I think I'm gonna continue it going. I, I kept going back and forth if I was just gonna actually just just say I made it to the uh, one full year of uploading a video daily to YouTube. I wasn't quite sure. Uh, I wasn't quite sure if I was gonna try to continue it on. But I think if I do continue it on. I just want to do a better job at keeping track of my cards and honestly something that like has to happen if I continue this I honestly really got to get in the habit of just trying to sell my cards more uh, more consistently because it's just it, you it, it's absolutely crazy even just doing well the one Pokemon boost pack every day there's I, I absolutely need to start selling so one of the ideas I have for 20 uh, 2019 that I thought would be kind of fun um, it just kind of depends if I'm still kind of going for my world's invite. Honestly, I got to take a look at what Caesar GX says. If this Pokemon's remaining HP is 100 or less, its attack do 80 more damage to your opponent's active Pokemon during your opponent's next turn. This Pokemon takes 30 less damage. Okay, which attack did he use? This is the one, just the one for two. Yeah, so this Pokemon takes 30 less damage. And does he already have, he doesn't have on, so I don't think, um, 30 less damage. I don't think I can knock him out anyways, so we're gonna go ahead and take our time here. Maybe I can knock out one of his other guys out on the bench still. So I went down to one Guzma. I don't know if I'm happy about that. Um, I'll get back to that other thought, the uh, other plans I have for for next year in just a second, but I still think I'm I think I'm just gonna be kind of straightforward here. Um, if this Pokemon, because in order for this to be active for him to do more damage, uh, it has to, he has to stay out here. So I think what we'll do is he's gonna get knocked out no matter what. So I'd like to be able to hit, I know what we'll do. We'll go ahead and trade. We'll trade this execute and we'll gust up just one of these guys, knock one of the, ooh, knock, ooh, ditto, one of the, one of the cards I've loved at having uh, added in here. Um, yeah, we'll knock out one of, one of his basic dudes uh, this turn. Maybe, maybe. How many trades do I have left? I have one trade. Uh, uh, things like that you have to keep track of during uh, the actual events too. Ooh, I, I got a plan. I got something else too. I can, I can kind of chip away some of the damage. So I'll get a show here. Uh, I might have actually saved that uh, space for someone else. But when, when I put on this Caesar GX on the bench, I'll actually get a kind of show in Prime. Let's go ahead and grab uh, Scizor. Yeah. So we'll get Macargo out. Uh, this this um, this orc he's gonna get knocked down next turn. That's okay because I wasn't able to hit. Um, I wasn't wasn't able to hit the uh, uh, anything to heal him or anything or another DCE. But we'll have to, we'll have to use him. That's okay. Um, he'll get knocked down. He'll take two prize cards. We'll work we'll work from that because now this is exactly what I was talking about. Um, I can start. I can continue stacking on uh, damage. So now he will be down uh, to 290 and it's those little numbers those little those little numbers that make such a huge difference especially especially when guys like him are running things that allow him to take less damage um, and I'll still be able to take a prize card this turn he'll knock out this during next this turn takes less damage uh, I don't think he'll have to use 
he'll have to use his crosscut GX for the knockout. Yep. Okay, let's go ahead and do this before I run out of time. I gotta take a prize card. Couple things I can do. I need that uh, Zorg. So he's gonna come here again. So now, does it still take an effect? Yeah, it's only doing more damage because of these two guys out here. So he'll be wanting to get that metal frying pan next turn. The only thing I'll, uh, oh, good time to play Call Res. Always, always a good thing to do. Um, probably something oh, I might try to do. Oh, I might, that might be something I want to play next turn. Um, I need to, I need to grab a couple things. First thing, we're going to rescue stretcher. I could just rescue, go straight forward, rescue stretcher. The, uh, have I played rescue stretcher yet? No, I haven't. Rescue stretcher is going to be really important next turn. And I'll say, show why in a second. Um, uh, that kind of throws things back a little bit. Um, but not too badly. Uh, actually, because of mm, one more Pokemon. Uh, yeah, a Lele. Can I still get the knockout next turn? He has to... Okay, so he, what does... That also beefs him up a little bit more too, right? Any damage done to the Steel Pike when attached to is reduced by 10 damage. So this is the part where... So he's taking 40 less damage right now, I think. 40 less damage from all attacks. Yeah, so 40. I'm trying to figure out... So I'm trying to figure out if I can knock him out via using this Zorak. Um... Did he not knock it out? No, it only did 100. Okay, so then a uh, totally different game plan. Well, we're just going to chip him out one Pokemon at a time. Uh, I could not. Nah, we'll just go for the Sudowoodo next turn. Uh, not really a way I can do that. Let's go ahead and take our time. Um, yeah, Guzma again. Guzma up of Sudowoodo, knock out one of his other guys next turn as well. Don't really don't really have to rush into things. Um, uh, like I said, that Ditto, I could evolve either one. It's actually great. What Ditto's really changed the game because now you can have... You can have up to five. So before it would have not been possible to have like uh, all these orcs out because you could only have like four copies. But now it makes it possible to where I could hypothetically have this orc out, this orc out, this orc out. Um, absolutely fantastic! Absolutely fantastic card. Love what they did with Ditto. Um, we're gonna take our time. Use Macargo, Floatstone, knock him out. Uh, just go instead of going for the two prize knockout, take it in two turns. Uh, teammates right here that will help. I think. Um, yeah, definitely just gonna be just definitely gonna be going for his small guys next turn. There's no no reason to rush this at all. Via seeker, what else do I want? Yeah, I want to grab one thing this turn. Um, in case I do want to play Guzma or anything next turn, let's go ahead. I don't even need to trade it for this turn because uh, I have an attached from hand though. Uh, has anything have any anything else been discarded? No, we'll we'll go ahead and go for it. Um, be consistent use at this point execute is really only here um he's one thing he's one guy i had a lot more copies of at one point i was running like three or four of them when i was uh, a couple months ago now i've just gone just to one because really he uh, great to, great two things the top deck really he is just there just so i can trade um which is absolutely absolutely critical um but i don't like him on the bench and now that i have something better i can throw out on the bench giratina is uh, he's pretty beefy. Like, even just as a Pokemon, the the fear with Exeggie was his low HP. Things like Buzzwool could knock him out in one hit. Um, Giratina, on the other hand, yeah, I'm not really too worried about him sitting out. And he has a resistance to fighting type Pokemon. Hypothetically, I could actually even use his Shadow Impact attack. I don't think that's something. I haven't even done that once. I don't think that'll be something that that's happening that often. Um, but yeah, this was a good first matchup. Just kind of really demonstrated well. Um, there, there are definitely some tough matchups with this deck as well. Um, next turn, we'll throw out anyone else and try Hill Cynthia. But as long as I can knock out one of his uh, Delmize that's out here next turn, then I think we got it. We'll go for the one with lower, the one I have been chipping away with lower HP. Um, thanks for everyone who's watching. It says three people are watching. Thank you for tuning in. Uh, or if you're watching this at a later time, I'm gonna keep this going probably about, we'll probably go till for, for a full hour. It's been about 20 minutes right now. As expected, he got knocked out. Let's go ahead and try to wrap this up. Have I used all four versus VS Seekers yet? I should have one more. I've used two. Um, yeah, so at least one's in my deck now. 
Um, it's steel type Pokemon take 10 less damage, I think. You know, Pokemon still doesn't have a way to where uh, you can have to like flip it, flip the card upside down. At least I can't see. I think I, I think I have this though. So I'm gonna go ahead and just uh, try to speed it up to uh, to rotate the cards. I actually can't. Um, you have to read it like upside down a little bit. Uh, smooth over. Let's go ahead and see if the VS Seeker is there. VS Seeker is here. Um, well, VS Seeker of that Delma is just so we're consistent. Trade. Um, just so I don't mess anything up, we'll go ahead and propagate this one. And then we'll attack this uh, this Delma is down here. Like I said, it's always good playing against. Like I said, I, I wouldn't call this a necessarily like a rogue deck, rogue deck but it's definitely Scizor GX. It's definitely a less commonly played deck. I think I haven't played against too many of them. Um, so I love playing against decks like this because this opponent's probably clearly more familiar with like the numbers and how everything stacks up. He goes ahead, uh, calls that, that match. Uh, and we'll go ahead, let me, sh let me show the list for anyone who's interested. I should really timestamp these. Um, so people who are watching these later can come check these out. Uh, whether or not, I really got, like I said, I really got to make these out of better time. A couple other things I've experimented with. Um, let's, yeah, let's first show what it was a couple months ago. And, and honestly, I wish I would have kept it because this, this, this version right here is Oric 1.1. This wasn't even the final version or anything. This one is what it was just a quick glance a couple months ago. I had Sylveon EX when Rayquaza was a bit more of a concern. Um, but like I said, I just had a lot of this. Um, this was actually the earliest, like, um, uh, earliest version of this this deck that i made i had three executes i had a mu ex it's not that it was a bad deck it just wasn't super super consistent there was a couple other fun things i had in here too uh if i had space to include town maps still um i would uh i was only running cynthia i definitely like my list this this new list so just basically what i did i took a lot out of the one tricks i had a silent lab in here i had a Zorosic. um in one of the later versions i had a Pokemon Ranger, which I still wish I had room to put that in here uh, with things like Seismitoad. But now it's just a lot more consistent with this list right now. Um, I've gone ahead. I have two Sycamores in here uh, just as a way just to burn through. Like I said, most people with this list, they run um, they run Cynthia's more and stuff. But I really like the consistency with Sycamore. Um, Macargo is absolutely great. Uh, one other friend recommended yesterday put in Ditto Prism Star. Um, I wanted to, I still wish I could include Mewtwo EX and maybe Seismitoad, but for my deck, it's not a Zor control kind of thing. So Guard Border is literally in here just for kind of a late uh, uh, attacker in the game. L last night there was one match, I don't even remember who I was playing against, um, where they had discarded just a bunch of item cards, so he was a great guy late in the game where he was able to do 200 damage. Um, and there's not a lot of things that can do that just like and it wasn't hitting for weakness or anything like that it was just a really great attacker uh, we also have like i said uh with things like fabo running around i think uh, the one from lost Thunder that just got printed that can discard special energy to the lost zone it's even more important now to maybe have a couple uh, uh regular energy type cards running here um specifically the psychic one it actually opens up other possibilities not only that it also opens up the chance maybe i've used tapu cure now uh tapu lele is really awesome gx attack um, hypothetically, I could still use Giratina's Shadow Impact. I don't think that'll be happening, probably, if ever. <laughs> if ever, having to get the two, I'd have to attach the two, the two Psychic Energies would have to go to Giratina, and then I would still have to attach a DCE. I don't see that happening anytime soon. But so far, I've liked the overall consistency of this deck. Um, and like I said, with any deck, there's always like, there's always like 10 more cards you want to add. Uh, at some point I might make a Zora control deck, but as far as something that I was familiar with, I really wanted to maybe bring a Buzzle. I really want to try a Gardevoir deck this week or something, but I was just, I just really, just cause of life and other things, I simply just ran out of time. Uh, that's honestly, so I was like, I have to go with a list I'm familiar with. We'll go ahead and jump into another, another, another match. Um, so that was honestly the biggest thing. I just had to decide what I wanted to run and use something that I knew I was going to be able to float around with pretty well um it'll yeah it'd be pretty it'd be pretty, pretty tough so just a little bit about regional events uh if people aren't familiar with how they go um it's basically an entire full day this happens more often than um than than you think less less now with this this new list uh, regional events are just like really really big really really big pokemon events uh they both have both the video game trading card game that happen usually usually the same day there's certain ones that only have the trading card um going on but this one i think has both the video game and trading card game going on uh just really really big events people travel from all over over the country to attend these events that happen throughout the year um 
and people people play it's uh the one in portland a couple months ago had like four i think there was like 400 people no more than that way way more way more than 400 people i think it was like 500 or 600 total something like that between all the divisions competing um three different divisions junior master seniors and it is it is essentially about uh probably nine to ten hours worth of playing pokemon you start at the convention uh you start playing matches at like 8 a.m and they basically go all the way till 9 9 9 p.m 10 p.m people who do really well get a play in the second day finals he doesn't get attacked first on his first turn does he no um matchup like this there's not a whole lot i can do i have i have the distant advantage is it a buzzword deck or is it just like a, i'm not really sure what kind of deck it is yet uh, I'm pretty stellar starting hand. Not a whole lot I can do. Like I said, some matchups are just aren't as good as others. Um, we'll throw out Azorua. We'll throw out... What's his, what's his weakness? It's grass. It's water. Yeah, so I can't hit for weakness or anything like that. Next turn, he can start totally destroying my guys. Uh, um, but that's... Who else? And what are his numbers? 120. 120. That's... We can work with that. What, what attacks does he have? 90. So I can't knock him out with Zork, um, with like the uh, the black and white Zork, this Zork. I can't, I can't knock him out with that one. But if Makargo still, I still think, I still think that's got to be the best bet. Yeah, throwing throwing these guys out first. Um, I think so. Maybe. Yeah, let's go ahead and do that. Still, other Zork will get knocked out, but we'll see if we can play into this and make things okay. Uh, 120, yeah, 120 is actually, well, what card, what, uh, Furious Fist, okay, so even Pokemon, um, a, a guy like this now, a, a fighting dude like this, I think if he were to be printed in today's meta, I think he would probably have, probably 130, if it was a guy like Buzzwool, which is why I was having to check that, um, let's go ahead and see what will happen next. I said I just gotta I gotta find better times to do these the weekend and just doing them in the middle of the day probably isn't the time when most people can come check these out um but even if you're flipping around thank you so much for checking out the video um like I said just doing the live streams and then also playing Pokemon it actually just helps me focus a lot more um just focusing on the match focusing on on my strategy and just kind of kind of making it a lot more low-key in, in a certain sense but also like having me focus too if that makes if that makes if, if that makes any bit of sense uh focus slash fantastic card i kind of see their strategy now a couple things i'm going to want to get next turn i'm going to want to get a field blower i still got one of those running around in my deck somewhere well ultra ball that's going to be tough thing or it, it honestly just depends on what i top deck so man that's a good this is a good consistent deck um so I gotta really start paying attention to some numbers here. So 90, 180. So he can get for for three energy. He can knock out um, even some of my, my big guys. So a couple things I want to grab next turn, uh, if I can find them before the end of this turn. That second Ultra Ball might come in handy. Let's go ahead. First Ultra Ball. We're gonna need. We're gonna need a couple things. And you see, I would like. I, I need to be able to get Enhance Hammer. And it's Field Blower Prize. I um, did I miss it? Enhance Hammer. I think Field Blower is one of my prize cards. So that actually, that will actually decide a lot of this match right here. Um, like I said, those things happen. There's nothing really you can do about it. Um, 90. Yeah, that's uh, that's a tough one. But we can still let's focus on Enhance Hammer. What do I want to Enhance Hammer? I want to knock out because he has two. So I want to knock out the one that's on his bench actually. So. Yeah, if he's powering this one up, that is the one I want to knock out. If I can't knock out this one, then we'll try to take our time a little bit. Uh, let's go ahead, grab, grab my cargo now. I'm just trying to see if I can, um, I can kind of monkey my way out of this. I already have the DCE, so the one, the guy I know I want to knock out, is, is right there. Was that other execute there? No, he wasn't. Um, I think I, I think I almost have to. I could. Just, yeah, so I already know. I already know. I got good. Hmm. I'm already out of cards in my hand too. So we have to. I think we have to Guzma him, and then hopefully I have to discard. I have to discard one of these two things. Um, I know. Because I might be able to get another double colors energy back. Like I said, I'm running through a couple uh, thoughts in my head. We're gonna go for Shaman. If he's there, Shaman's there. Yes, he is. Uh, that's good. 
Uh, now, now we can make some things happen. We're gonna put a DC at the top of the deck. That's gonna kind of be a tough thing to get right now. A uh, couple other things I have to get via Ultra Ball and stuff. The, the, these next six cards with um, these next six cards with Shaman have to be pretty good, but we'll make it work uh, or try to. If we can Guzma out him, we'll see what this Shaman does. Then he still has to attach two cards to two energy cards to this one. So fighting, getting, knocking out this one is definitely the right play. We hit another energy. I don't think any of those other things sadly helped me <laughs> too much. Uh, all that, all that was lost. I was hoping had I hit one Ultra Ball, that would have been nice. Um, but uh, do I want to forfeit this match? No, I don't want to. Um, we can, we can do some stuff. Foul play. What would that do? Ninety. Eh, we'll go for it. We'll only lose one prize card. Um, had I hit one Ultra Ball, I would have probably been able to get the knockout, but that's okay. Um, Let's see, I figure with this full HP, okay, this is actually kinda kinda important. So we'll do this instead. I can attach this one, so that basically makes his his choice ban ineffective. Um, I'll only lose one prize card, which is better than losing more. Um, yeah, that's still attach a basic energy from a discard pile to one of your bench Pokemon. That would have been fantastic actually too. Uh, let's I think that's everything I want to do. Foul play. Uh, attach a basic energy. Can't do that. For 90. He'll knock He'll knock out this Zork next turn. But it still does play into my advantage. I haven't... Um, that none of my... None of my big guys have been knocked out, really. Oh, from that Shaman. Not one Ultra Ball. And I would have... Um, yeah, but like I said, it, it's still, this Giratina still opened up more possibilities that before it would have not been able to. I could have done, um, I could have had the whole bench set up to do 180 on this Landorus, and that would have not mattered or had, because he had that, um, that choice ban on there. So doing all those things, I mean, those are all the right, those are all the right plays. The cards just weren't, uh, stacked there in my favor for that one ins instance. Um, so this Zork is going to get knocked out. That's okay. That's okay. We planned for that to happen. 90. Um, it's too bad. I actually... 30, uh, 100, 110. You know who we're going to attack with this turn? We're going to attack with Shaman. Um, something just dropped. Um, no, Shaman can do 30. Yeah, we're going to go... We're going to go in with this guy. We're going to try to slow him down a little bit. Like I said, I don't think I can win this match, but we're going to get a knockout here with Shaman does 30, 100, 110, 1. Yeah, that's that's phenomenal. That's great. Um, whatever card he decided to get this past turn, let's go ahead and play N now. I think just try to slow him down just a little bit. Um, and hopefully this is a good N. This needs to be, <laughs> this needs to be a good N. Uh, pretty good N. Wow, I'm gonna get a knockout with the Shaman. That's actually phenomenal. Um, it does create some um, some potential hazards here. Let's go ahead and throw the Zoru out. I uh, putting out that Ditto is risky. Uh, I really, really want to, but man, if he gets uh, gets knocked out, that it'll be pretty tough to come back from from that. Throw these two guys in here. Actually, one other thing we want to throw in there, not two gear. Let's do. Um, let's throw out. Do I want to do Sycamore or Teammates? Let's do Call Rise's Prize. Let's do Teammates then. I think that's what I want to do. And then I can have my unlimited trades with him being there. We haven't done this yet. So, and it was and actually one other thing we can do now too. We can slow him down just a bit. Let's grab Enhance Hammer. We'll discard this Enhance Hammer over here. Uh, this Metadite meta actually creates a lot of problems, too. Um, Metacham, um, when, uh, Metacham, yeah, his, uh, his Ancient Trait uh, is he can attack twice during the same turn. Uh, fantastic, fantastic ability. Um, I just don't think I should put that Ditto out there. So we're slowing things down a little bit. Uh, that's good. We can knock him out this turn. Uh, do I want to put that Ditto out there? Um, I'm gonna go for it because there's other things that could be helpful. Garborder could become a possibility, and he's probably gone through a handful of items. No, he hasn't gone through any item cards. This is only like the third turn still. So. Um, did Ace roll is a good time? Uh, actually, there's a, some cool things that could happen. So can't believe it. Cool moment. Shaman, Shaman for the knockout. That is pretty cool. Uh, if I got that field blower, choice ban. 
Uh, I think I have a feeling he isn't running any uh, any GX Pokemon in his deck based off this. There, there is definitely I almost guarantee you he probably has a Buzzwall in there. When I get down to that four prize card, that four prize card limit, that's when I would be getting a little nervous. Um, absolutely, he would he would have a Buzzwall in here if he's playing guys like this Deontay. So he does have like new cards. Um, uh, sometimes when I see people. Uh, I'll play against older opponents who have just like really like kind of like legacy decks um we just like pop online just every now and again uh but I'm sure he's got a buzzwool hanging around in there one whopping 140 I'm happy I have that acerola in there right now we need to knock out this little guy though um let's see we can do one thing here and if he's got that that Reggie rock actually uh, so much would have to happen if I can knock out that Reggie rock it would actually remove any fear of him actually being able to use Boswell um, but there's just so much would have to happen between now and next turn uh, I'd have to Guzma him out let's go ahead and start with this ultra ball see what we see what's here I don't even know if I wanted to ultra ball yet um, 30 60 30 60 90 120 do I want to try that I think it 180 Reggie Rock. I have I have two of the pieces. You know what? We're gonna go for it. We're gonna try. So a couple things have to happen because I just realized I have a lot of the important pieces here in my hand. Let's start here. Uh, we're gonna have to Guzma out if, because then I have a lot of other things in my discard pile. I need so all of these things are here. This Zork runs the risk of getting knocked down next turn, but I can dig pretty deep into my deck right now. I know that Guzma is here, so we're gonna try to get the two prize card knockout on this Reggie Rock this turn. Um, let's go ahead, switch them out. We have one person who's hanging out with me this morning. Uh, there's a couple other things. Skyfield. Did did we just pull this off? Maybe. It's kind of slim. Um, Skyfield will go though. We'll get that with Shaman, and then we just need four Pokemon stacked on our bench. Um, because they didn't play Sudowoodo or anything like that either. So, I think I think we just did. Uh, good time to get that card. 20, 40, 60, 80, 100, 120. We're at 150, 160. I, I think I have to throw out the Exegu Q2. 20, 40, 60, 80, 100, 120, 120, 140, 160. Yeah, I have to pull out. I have to pull out this Giratina. Um, we run the risk. This Zora could get knocked down next turn. Hopefully, we can Ace Arola or something like that, uh, just to make, just to make anything. Uh, any choice bands and effective we're doing a nice little damage spread right now actually I think it was off I think I need one more 20 40 60 80 100 120 140 160 so I would prefer not to put the execute on the bench I can get it to 160 right now 190 with the choice band I would put out anyone else even even extra Giratina um, yeah let's take let's make the most of his ability We'll go for another 20 minutes or so, and then we'll wrap up this live stream like that. Like I said, I love, have, I love having the option to be able to put out this Giratina here. Just so, such a more consistent Pokemon. 20, 40, 60, 80, 100, 120, 140, 160. Choice band, 90. And we knock him out. Like I said, I literally just did that in the event. Um, I, he might not have any Ultra Beast Pokemon in here, but I would be shocked if he didn't have one Buzzwool. Uh, we get that Fuel Blower, super, super important right now that I was talking about that was in here. Uh, yeah, that was that was important. I was uh, not surprised to see a Reggie Rock in there by any means. And like I said, now it does it just doesn't matter as much as it used to even a couple months ago when I would go down a couple price cards. Because now, in the list I brought to regionals almost two months ago now, I was only running two Skyfield. Definitely want to run three. It's just it, it just helps a lot having that third one in there. Um, and then this has been a pretty fun match. I didn't think I was gonna be able to do this well. If we if the guy survives, we'll ace roll uh, this one next turn. This is actually really good timing. Lucario's weakness is fighting. Um, twenty four item cards. Twenty forty. He hasn't used a lot of item cards though. That's actually he really hasn't. Uh, so I can't hit him for weakness. It won't knock 20, 40. Um, I think I'm going to try to go again for that Lucario down there. And then that'll really put us in a good spot to try to get this win. So we'll, uh, same thing again. Lucario here. Uh, VS, VS Seeker. Guzma. Knock him out. Again. 
Um, pretty straight, pretty straightforward at this time. At this point, I can hit him for 180. Because uh, I got that second DCE, uh, those two DCEs there in my hand. This guy will get knocked out next turn no matter what. Uh, don't really m mind that. Um, we need to have four more Pokemon on our bench, so I have to throw out, uh, I might have to throw out Giratina. I, I could throw out, I could throw out Tapu Lele. That's not a bad choice. Don't really care too much who I'm putting the damage counters on at this point. Go ahead, throw those out there. Um, there is one thing that could happen that I should probably think about. Um... 20, 40, 60, 80, 100, 120, 140, 160. Let's go ahead and, yeah, we'll go ahead and throw Tapu Lele out there. But then I think I gotta pick which Pokemon. So even if they evolve into Medicham, the one thing I was thinking about next turn that could happen, if they evolve next turn, and they, I didn't miss anything. It should be 180. Their Pokemon don't take less damage, right? Damage you more, opponent attack to Pokemon. Cool, I haven't missed anything. Um... If they have Metacham next turn, they could possibly attack twice. Uh, so these orcs do get at risk for that, but I don't think they get to pick which one, because I still think if they knock out, I still get to pick who I switch out. So I would actually probably throw out Giratina. Um, actually, <laughs> that was funny. I like the little emojis. Uh, yep, throwing that down again, but like I said, it just doesn't... Um, Having that third, uh, that third Skyfield in there, it just makes it really, really, uh, really, really good. And I really like this list now. The more and more as I think through this, this might be the exact list. I should really just say this is the exact list I'm bringing. Iris. I forget what Iris does. Beautiful card. Fantastic. I want to see what it does. Weakness. During this turn, uh, attacks do 10 more damage stack to Pokemon for each prize card your opponent has taken. That's a good card. That's a really good card. Um, I think, I don't think it matters too much. The Pokemon tool has no effect. If I've done everything right, 120, I don't think it really matters too much at this point. Let's just go ahead and throw out another Pokemon. And this will be another win, 120. That does nothing. Last prize card, win another match. Um, yeah, those are two good, really good showcases. I, I've gotten lucky because this, this hasn't been, um... Yeah, as well, the funny thing is, I was just talking to someone the other day, so the funny thing is, you can do so well online and then be in person and your your lists or whatever you've been working on can just be total garbage. Um, and that's not to say, that's not to say you might not have a good list. That's not to say this list isn't bad either. Um, it's just the reality, playing in person is a lot different than playing uh, playing during, uh, during online. Yeah, we'll do, and then we got some booster packs. And I gotta find a better time to come on so more people can come check these out. Um, but even if you're watching this later, thank you so much for checking in. I will try to do these usually during Friday. I think I will start trying to do these maybe in the in the evening when more people are around. Um, but surprisingly, I got a lot of viewers that are just in random places around the world. Um, and then I should really use the better web camera. Um, I should adjust that a little bit. That was something I didn't look at. I think my opponent's prize cards. I haven't actually looked at how the screen looks. It's actually cutting off a lot. Oh, it's cutting off a lot of their prize cards. So I'm gonna make that screen a little bit smaller. And you can see their prize cards and stuff. Just now realized that. Yeah, we'll go for another yeah, we'll go for another 20 minutes, wrap it up, maybe do some online booster packs, save the other one. Like I said, this can happen. Um, this is, yeah, I like this list though. Uh, Xeggy Cube, bleh, don't like starting out with him, but it happens. Uh, yeah, I, I went down just to the one Xeggy Cube because that's really all you need. That's, oh, I love this losing mean. I, I think losing mean's a really fun, crazy character. We'll do this another 20 minutes. Thanks for everyone who's watching, even for a couple minutes. I will find better times and schedule these better so more people can tune into them. Ooh, let's see. I'm actually excited to play against this. Is it Guard of? It's it is. Okay, so this is a uh, this is a Guard of War mill deck, and we'll see. I 
Okay, so out of all my decks, and this is no offense if you play this deck, I absolutely despise this deck and playing against it. I thought about teching in a uh, steel type Pokemon. It's just not, it's not a deck that I would ever want to play um, myself personally. I think it's absolutely a huge headache to play, uh, to play against. Um, Cause basically you just, you just play until your opponent runs out of energy or whatnot. Um, but it's a fair, you know, the thing is it's still, it's still a valid deck to use. You absolutely can use it. So one of my Giratinas, it's prized. So that actually makes this, um, that doesn't change things too much. Um, but I actually want my Giratinas in my discard pile right now. Uh, we're gonna go ahead, battle compressor out some stuff. I don't wanna prattle compressor. I think I just wanna do the one Giratina. Um, like I said, just some things that are, I are already, um, having my Execute out there in the active, that was a disadvantage already and having this one in my hand um kind of already sets up this match uh, for me on the the, the things i have built in kind of right now to help me do well against this deck uh are already kind of not in place uh one other card called rest isn't there uh so we will put n in my discard pile as well because n is a great way to try to slow down your opponent while playing against this deck as well um floatstone those are good things to have um, he's not gonna attack, like, I, I just know how this deck works. They're not gonna attack, uh, they're just not gonna attack that Execute. They're gonna use, um, uh, they're gonna use a, uh, Magical Ribbon. I mean, they could knock it out next turn. I'd be really shocked. Um, let's go ahead and see what happens, and then I just, this'll be, this'll probably be the last match. If somehow I manage to win this match, then for sure magical ribbon exactly what i said um we can start trying to do some damage next turn that's what i'll go for next turn and then i will play that n to try to slow him down a little bit but this deck this deck it's just such a headache to play against um yeah i don't hate i mean i love sylveon i love the strategy behind it but it's just not something i would ever play against uh I, it's not something i would ever play myself that's better said. Uh, Ultra Ball will go ahead. We will try to start stacking on some damage this turn. Um, I just a lot of things I got to keep in mind. I'm trying to just, uh, think at the moment. We'll go ahead and take our time. Like I said, I wish that Execute wasn't in wasn't in in uh, my discard pile. That's just that, that's just very unfortunate. It would have been really good because I don't want to discard any of these things yet. Uh, one float stone will have to go here if I decide I want to start attacking. And I can't believe the thing I'm going to discard, but I, like I said, I want to hold on to some things for as long as possible. Um, I think I'm going to discard that Lele since I already have that Sycamore there. Um, you know, more Pokemon would have been kind of important as well, but we'll go ahead and grab this Macargo. That'll help. Um, Cause I gotta be really careful how much I'm burning through cards in my deck right now. Um, they might be able to discard both these float stones next turn. Uh, I said I was gonna play N. Um, I still think I still will play N this turn instead. That's right. Um, I will slow my opponent down, and I have my one trade to be able to uh, DC here. Um, I get the DC anyways. Um, oh my god, though! Wow, interesting. So um, I'm still taking my time though. I'm still gonna take my time. I know. I know what I'm gonna put on my bench though. Um, I just. Oh, I hate that I have to discard any of these things. Uh, that is why you run two executes. That is why you uh, run two 20, 40, 60, 80 minus. That's twenty. Um, that'll chip away some damage, but it won't be a knockout. There is one thing I want to put on my bench this turn because they will start using a lot of energy cards and stuff. You might hear my dog barking in the background. Um, even if I don't want to trade anything, we'll my cargo, we'll put something there. We, we don't have to trade. Um, yeah, I'm not going to. That only do 60, but it's literally getting that little bit right there. That's really, that's really important. But now from here, they can team flagrant, they can crushing hammer, they can enhance hammer. They always start with the crushing hammer first. And the funny thing is, like I said, I'm gonna like, um, yeah oh my gosh it's just one of those things i just can't imagine I, I i honestly can't get over some people's luck with this deck um i happen to have both my dc in my hand that i got from that end and i just don't know what the odds of that happening would be um so i have i have some options if they didn't put another pokemon out on their bench so uh just to wrap up this match i have to go for the, i have to go for the knockout next turn so that means i have one more dc in there special charges in there this whatever this next top deck is is super important because i am oh yeah i put the um 
I put the Trubbish there. So we have Skyfield, we have, we need to dig into our deck as just as much as possible right now. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna smooth over, we're gonna go for, I'm gonna have to discard that Zork. Do I wanna go for just straight for Sycamore? Sycamore, is there anything else I would wanna grab first? Um, special charges there. Cause I'm a one trade right now and I have to make that count. Okay, so there's a special energy is there. I think we have to just dig as much into our deck right now. I could go Shaman first. Shaman I think would be a good good choice. We'll do Shaman first. We can hit a VS Seeker. Um, yeah, because I'm going to try to go out for the knockout this turn on uh, on this uh, Sylveon. Um, the fact that they didn't put any other base Pokemon down, that's pretty... Oh, that's good. That is fantastic. So we... We are digging. We are gonna burn. We are gonna burn through this deck as much as possible. Um, it's gonna be tough to hit that. It's gonna be really tough to hit that second DCE. Uh, I already used smooth over. Um, basically, it comes down. It comes down to this next Sycamore. Uh, actually, I can keep burning a little bit more. We can do one more thing. Uh, we'll grab. We'll grab Tapu Lele. I want to hit that. Uh, uh, I want to hit that DCE so bad. We'll grab. Sycamore this way. Yeah, that'll be even less cards in my hand. We can discard two more cards. Uh, if, if I don't get this here, I'm gonna go ahead and just wrap up the live stream call it good for this one. Because uh, I got one more Shaman in there right now. So we're just we're just going, um, or was it the Shaman Price? The Shaman's Price. The other Shaman's not there anyways. Um, that's actually fine. We can grab one more Pokemon. Just try to thin out the deck as much as possible. Hello, C Games. I'm just about to wrap up the live stream, but thanks for coming to check in last minute. We're playing against a Sylveon deck. I'm trying to hit one DC. If I can hit the DC here, then I will probably be able to win this match. Literally just to have, um, no, this card's getting discarded anyways. Sycamore, seven cards, DC, DC, and do I have any more trades? I have one trade left, and my computer's, lap my laptop's freezing up on me. Uh, no, I didn't want to use it yet. I'm okay, apparently it wants me. No, <laughs> my laptop's freezing up. Uh, I didn't want to use the trade yet. I wanted to use special charge first. Okay, can I get out of this? One second, let's see if I can. I wanted to do one more other thing, but I don't think it's gonna give me the option to. Uh, I wanted to use special charge to cycle in those other two DC, but we'll see if we can hit it. Um, darn it, St uh, stupid computer, <laughs> that's okay. Ugh. Uh, nothing. Uh, I don't think so. I don't think we have it. Uh, it's too bad. Uh, we'll go ahead. We'll wait one turn, but if they put any base of Pokemon out on the bench, uh, nice. Um, so we had an interesting match. Uh, literally, I had just gotten my 2DC in my hand, and my computer just froze up there. I would have cycled those in there. That would have given me a little bit more probability of hitting what I need. Uh, we'll go attach psychic, ener psychic energy here, but I think I am going to wrap up. I, I think I'll forfeit this match just because I had to burn through yeah they have another that was that was my one chance to win this match I, I don't I, I don't mind um yeah I don't, I don't mind I, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna solve this match on that's fine by me that was that was my one chance and who know who knows that last thing there my computer is being my computer is being funny um we've had some good some good wins uh that was actually the first loss from the past four matches we've done so far um but what I would, what I would, the only thing I would have done, I would have cycled in that special charge to get those other two DCE back in there. So then there would have been three in my deck. It might have been more possible to hit it, but you know, it, that the probability still hitting it still wasn't in my favor. But especially in that kind of circumstance, still just going straight for the, straight for the kill to play against that deck, even even in a real life search weight situation. If I had a chance to play against that Sylveon deck um, at the regional events, their best two out of three. So that's exactly what I would have done. And had I not got that knockout there, I would have forfeited that match and gone into the second match just to give myself as much time as possible. Because just playing against those decks, it takes a long time to play against Sylveon decks, um, which is why you don't see them peak um, peak to the top of of um, like top eight decks. Or sometimes you see them. I, I haven't seen any on, on on recent rosters because they take a really long time to run, and you just don't have a lot of time to do that at actual events. Um, but I've seen them do when I've seen them do well. Sylveon on decks do well at things that are like best of one matches. They typically do um, pretty perform pretty well there. Uh, we'll end this live stream with opening up some booster packs. 
I think I should have some Pokemon booster packs on here. Last time I did any kind of booster pack, I mean, we'll go ahead and also uh, we'll get some Lost Thunder from the store while we're at it. And this will con conclude this live stream. Anyone who's coming in and watch later, thank you so much. Uh, I'm going to try to find a better time to do this, but this is this is literally more just practice for me getting ready for regionals than anything else. It helps me cycle through, just kind of talk about my deck, and just kind of give a little bit of extra content for the week. I haven't actually uploaded what is going on with the Pokemon TCG right now. Uh, we'll go ahead and start with this black and white booster pack that I've had uh, lying around here for a little while. Um, but yeah, and maybe I'll show my deck one more time too. But last time, last time I opened up some booster packs on here, I got really, really lucky. Um, this is black and white area. Pretty cool stuff. See Yamas, Beldum, Chinchou, uh, Espeon. Always cool. Uh, and we'll see. We'll open up the Crimson Invasion one, the one that has like the blank white screen right now. A couple more Crimson Invasion, Buzzbolt, Rainbow Rare, Rare Buzzbolt GX. I would not complain about. I would not complain about those things in my life. Yeah, nothing, but that's okay. I actually got a lot of Crimson Invasion back in the day on here. A couple more. Celestial Storm. Rayquaza. We actually pulled Rainbow Rare Rayquaza a couple a couple months ago. That was actually probably one of the... I really need, need to edit that live stream clip out. That was one of the craziest uh, craziest on uh, live stream uh, uh, booster packs we, we did a couple months ago. A couple, there was a, little, a handful of people there for that one. And the one thing I can't get over with live streams is how quickly how quickly an hour can go by. It's just absolutely phenomenal. And even if people came by just for a couple minutes or just watch it, it's actually really cool to see like the watch time and stuff just go up. Here's the most recent expansion, Law of Thunder. And Tag Team GX is right upon us. That expansion will be coming out super, super soon. And I don't actually know, like, I... I We'll really have to wait and see what Tag Team does as far as like the meta and stuff. Um, some people are feel fearful of it, but it's one of those things that might like. I think there will be there will be tag Pokemon that are are certainly really good, but we'll just kind of have to wait and see what happens. Yeah, those are some good stuff. I love I love the entire concept of this unknown Hate Factory. That's probably the best pull we've gotten so far. That's pretty cool. Um, we got one one more one more lost under i got a couple common trusts i've been uh saving so i'll open those hop ups this hop ups always welcome skip plume great card great great stuff zeb striker really great stuff uh, love lost under lost under has had some great some great staples added into it um i was gonna get back to some other thoughts but i have one i have one of my new plans for 2019 i'll share that next time i'll share that next next live stream it involves like selling a lot of my cards being more active about that and then just kind of focusing a lot more on collecting mm, let's see i want to get full art cynthia that's the one card that's the one card i want from the expansion both in here and in real life nope that's okay reverse hollow rotom not bad we got five chests to open up these are usually nothing super exciting by any means but we'll go ahead and see what's in here open another alolan executor 10 10 coins not bad one more bonnie full art pulled pulled a full art bar and bonnie on, on the channel a couple weeks ago i gotta get today's video uploaded still um kind of was a crazy week of booster pack so far so i think i've mentioned this before uh, a lot of the videos i do film i i totally film ahead of time that's how i'm able to get them uh get them out um it saves my, me a lot of time so nothing 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 crazy like a couple months ago uh i'll show my deck one more time i'll show it again tomorrow maybe a live stream friday and then that'll be the last live stream and then regionals and stuff i leave friday um friday night pretty late uh late to friday night this is one more look at my deck list um playing with the last four matches um i think it would have actually done really well against that sylveon had i had a slightly different setup um had that execute not been out front and just been able to move around things a little bit differently um but yeah even that it just opened up it opened this deck list right now it's just opening up a lot of new possibilities that weren't there before with some of my older lists so it'll be it'll be a, regardless i'm going to i'm going to california have fun hang out with friends uh, check out the scenery maybe get a little bit of heat uh i don't know if, uh, how warm it is down in california should be warmer than it is up here right now um fellow trainers i hope you've had a fantastic uh day wherever you are whether you're watching this now or later it's been just about an hour right now so i'm gonna go ahead and wrap this up i will find a better time to go ahead 
and get these live streams going. Uh, but it's been really fun. I feel like I'm getting more comfortable doing this sort of thing. Uh, I hope you're having a fantastic day wherever you are. Uh, today's video should be up in just a little bit. I'm going to go ahead and get that together right now. Um, and like always, I will, I will see you tomorrow. I, I will see you tomorrow as always.